this picture is famous and dramatic at the same time. This falling B-17 is We Willy, shortly after hit by Flak. Let's look back to the history of this B-17 before the eyewitness statements about the last moments of We Willy. B-17 Flying Fortress, We Willy, serial number 4231333 was delivered to Cheyenne on October 22nd, 1943. Assigned to 322nd Bomb Squadron, 91st Bomb Group at Bessingburn, England on December 20th, 1943. We really completed 127 combat missions and was the oldest G model in the 91st Bomb Group. Tragically, We really did not survive the war among with 8 men of its crew. It was shot down by Flak on its 128th mission on April 8, 1945, one month before Victory Europe Day. The mission of that day was to bomb the locomotive repair shops at Stendal, Germany and was flown by First Lieutenant Robert E. Fuller. The last moments of We Willy were captured on camera. The B-17 received a direct hit by Flak over the target between Bombay and Number 2 engine, set the fuselage on fire and the left wing broke off moments later. The explosion series happened in 18 seconds. The missing air crew report has statements made by Staff Sergeant George Little and Sergeant Luke A. Pijorero. We were flying over the target at 20,000 feet altitude when I observed aircraft B-17G 4231333 to receive a direct flak hit approximately between the bomb bay and the number two engine. The aircraft immediately started into a vertical dive. The aircraft fuselage was on fire and when it had dropped approximately 5,000 feet, the left wing fell off. It continued down and when the fuselage was about 3,000 feet from the ground, it exploded, and then exploded again. When it hit the ground, I saw no crew members leave the aircraft, or parachutes open. Sergeant Alan S. Bender Jr. describes the following after We Willy was hit by flak. I first observed aircraft 4231333 at about three minutes after bombs away. I did not see the aircraft at the time it was hit, but saw the fuselage and a wing which had broken off falling downward. The fuselage was on fire and I saw no crew member leave the ship or parachutes open. The aircraft passed away from my view at approximately 16,000 feet altitude. No report or questionnaire of Lieutenant Robert E. Fuller known how he survived. It is my unconfirmed opinion he was thrown out of the plane when it blew up. He was the sole survivor of the crew. We really was the second to last 19th bomb group B-17 lost in combat. <laughs>